Hey tube, welcome back. Today we will talk about what are the differences between mutation and uh, queries in GraphQL. So in GraphQL, the primary disti uh, distinction between a query and mutation lies on in in uh, in their intent, used, and side effects. So let's just try to put both here. So we have a query. Um, and we have mutation okay that's great um so we have um purpose let's talk about the purpose so the purpose of the query queries are used for fetching data they are meant to uh, uh they are uh, meant to request the retrieved data from uh, the server they are uh, 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 uh to get requests in a restful api or they are equal to get request in a restful api um in terms of mutation let's talk about the purpose in mutation here So mutations are used uh, for writing data, including creating, updating, or deleting data. They are um, equal to post, put, patch, and delete requests in REST API. Um, let's talk in terms of side effects. So um, queries are supposed to be side effect free. Uh, this means executing a query should not change any data or, or state on the server. They are intended to be safe and uh, important, allowing them to be retri uh, retried without risk. In terms of mutation, um, <coughs> side effects in mutations are intended to have side effects and uh, are used for uh, any operation that caused uh, a write or change to the database. Let's talk about um, um, the read only. Um, as a rule of thumb, queries are read only operations. They are used to read or get the current state data. Uh, mutations are write operations. So mutations handle write operations, modifying the server's data, etc. Uh, let's give example for this one. So let's go to here and let's try to give Let's delete everything here and let's just go down and let's just try to create a query So we have a query for the user here and uh, we have a mutation here So these are the differences between both of them. So here are uh, in the mutation I'm creating a user name Jim Doe and I have name email and etc. Here I'm doing the same with the query so let's talk about the key differences so the key differences first the operational type queries are for retrieve data and read while mutations are for modifying data as you can see here i'm creating anything i in terms of the item potency queries are idempotent. that means repeating a query has no side effects and return the same results whereas mutations are not necessarily idempotent. Repeating mutations might result in uh, different outcomes or uh, repeated effects. Let's talk about expectations. So there are uh, and uh, there is an expectations in GraphQL that all that mutations are processed sequentially, ensuring the order of operation. Uh, whereas queries can be um, executed in parallel. Um, let's talk about the similarities. Uh, we have the return types, like both queries and mutations can return complex objects you can ask for any set of field or for the object being returned we have the structure so the syntax for writing queries and mutations is very similar making it easy to switch between them as needed so in practice um, categorizing, uh, categorizing operations as queries for or mutations helps clients understand the effects of their requests and allows uh, graphql servers to optimize performance and handling of these operations so that, that's it for this video and i hope you like my content if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell 
So we'll never miss a video and see you in future problem.